Hi everybody. Hi, good morning. Yeah, welcome back to us, Eric and Tracy. So right now we are in the midst of the COVID-19 crisis and mm. in the midst of the circuit breaker. Now is a good time for us to plan and think of how you can use property as part of your wealth creation. So because you know, a good investment actually takes a lot of planning and thinking. And also for property purchase and your this wealth planning as a side, right? even you decided to do it today, whole execution period will take minimum three months to even years. So <laughs> it's really good time to start thinking about it now. So why do we choose some um, property as an investment tool, you know? Property is good because it's actually a very good hedge against inflation. It is actually for a long-term growth. If you are someone like me who do not like to keep looking at figures every day, checking my investment portfolio, then investing in property is actually good for you. All you need to do is to place the money there and leave it there for three to at least 10 years. So now, what can you do at home? Yeah, we actually come up with three important points. So what are they? Number one, check affordability. Check how much you can afford to buy. Yes. To do that, you can actually check how much cash you have right now. Check your CPF, how much you have. Just log into the CPF website. Mm -hmm. And number three, you check your loan eligibility. If you are getting from HDB, you got to submit the HLE online. Yes. And they'll take approximately 7 to 14 days. If you are taking a bank loan, you just need to call up the bankers. They'll yep. be able to assess the loan for you. Or you can even just submit the loan application online also. So you get an idea of how much you can loan up to. Yes. Very important, for couples, you must check for individual loans. Plus, with your combined income, how much total loan you can get up to. So point number two, you need to check the current value of your existing property. So if you are HDB owners, you can go to HDB website to find out the last transacted value of the property. Or if you are a private owner, you can go to URI website to find out the last transaction in your same condominium or the same vicinity. Third, you just need to scan the QR code on top to get the X value of your property. Number three, check the potential of your current property. So what I mean by that, a lot of people, they will just stop at checking the value, how much their place is worth now to decide whether to sell or not. But I think more important is you must check is there any more upside potential. You can come all the news, see any new development coming up, look at the master plan, see what are the zoning for the land parcel around your properties. Okay, and also you can check with the LTA site to see what are the up and coming transport node or MRT station, are they going to come out around your place? Because usually if you have new developments or you have new transport that is upcoming, it will actually help to bring up the value of your current flat. So maybe you might want to consider holding it as well. So after you have checked all those above, so now what are the options available for you? Yeah. So if you are a first-timer and you are single, and above 35 years old, you can actually consider to buy HDB. So if you are 35 and below, you can only buy a private property. So if you are getting married, um, you can actually have three choices. First, you can like, consider buying a HDB, be it BTO or resale. Or you can consider buying an EC. So both of these, you need to check with HDB for your eligibility condition. If not, you can also consider buying private property. So for existing homeowners, you will have more choices and more planning to be done. So if you are a HDB owner, number one, you can keep your HDB flat and buy a second private property. Mm. But of course, that will incur additional buyer stamp duty of 12% if you are a Singapore citizen. And also bear in mind, your loan eligibility will be 45% if it is your second loan. Second option, you can actually decide to sell your HDB flat, cash out the profit, and you buy either one or two private property depending on your loan eligibility. So for private property owners, you actually have more options. So number one, you can decide to keep your current property and buy the second property using either individual name or you can do a joint name together. If you go for this option, the ABSD of 12% for second property shall apply if you are a Singaporean and also you can take up to maximum of 45% loan. Second option, you can do decoupling. What it actually means is, 
take out one name out from your existing property. That means to say the husband buy over the wife share or the wife buy over the husband share mm -hmm. so that one of you, the name will be free and using that person name, you can buy a, another property. Second purchase, you actually save on the ABSD and also most of the time, you can actually get a higher loan to value which is 75% if it's your first loan. So number three, you can sell your property. You can actually buy one together and join name or you can split the name and buy one each under each name. And one more option which applies to everybody, be it HDB owner or private owner, if you are planning to get something for your loved one, for your children, and they are not more than 21 years old, you can actually buy the property under trust. The only downside is to buy under trust, it got to be full cash. Also bear in mind, for HDB owners, you need to fulfill your MOP before you can buy under trust. Lastly, if you are planning for retirement or towards the retirement age, you find that your house is too big or you are now sitting on a big profit, now is the time for you to downsize to a smaller and more manageable property. With the profit that you actually earn from the sale of the property, you can either use it for your retirement or you can actually reinvest into another property that could actually yield you a passive income. So all this should keep you all busy. And yeah. I foresee a lot of argument between <laughs> couples. So for husband, just chill, okay? Listen to the wife. So with all the above that we have done, we hope you have a better and clearer picture. But if you still find that this journey is too stressful. much for you, too stressful, <laughs> um, you can always just call us. We will be here to help you. We are just a zoom away. So hope you guys have enjoyed the video so far. This period of time, please stay safe. Stay healthy and most important of all, stay tuned to Eric and Tracy. Yes. See you guys soon. Bye bye.